What's going on YouTube? JT is reborn here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews. In this video we're talking about Superman issue number 14. This one is written by Joshua Williamson and the artwork is done by Rafa Sandoval and Alejandro Sanchez. This is part four of the House of Brainiac event at the event's ending of the previous issue of Action Comics. Uh, part three, Superman was about to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lobo and we finally get that fight scene this time around and then eventually Superman is captured by the Kazarnian army and taken to Brainiac. Meanwhile, Lee Luthor, who has been bottled up and shrunk down to size, much like what Brainiac does with everything else, uh, is being needs to be used for something kind of sinister, but she doesn't have any memory of some of her time in the past, so she's definitely the key to something going on here. Uh, also, Lex and uh, Kara have been trapped in the bottle city of Kolu, which, as you know, was taken when Brainiac's homeworld was taken out by the Omega Titans all the way back in Justice League No Justice. You can check out my video on those four issues like somewhere on the channel uh they also come across brainiac's son they're all going to try to work together to you know get out of this situation at some point so brainiac's son of course wants to kind of kill his dad if you remember the end of action comics like he seemed to have some issues there it was him and his mom and all that so brainiac <clears throat> wants something like he's he's kind of missing something um so anyway superman is brought to him and using the powers of all the kryptonians they were used as some sort of power source to bring to life the brainiac queen and of course she needs more fuel so he brainiac is like okay you can use the kazarnians basically army of kazarnians is like a snack of some sort so like despite them being immortal like they're actually able to be kind of killed and uh this gets to showcase her raw pure power i mean she wipes them all out in in like instant and it's it's a pretty gruesome scene too and i love the design of this brainiac queen like this is a way to establish your threat with like these kazarnians like an army of them just kind of taken out and that's basically where the issue ends in a nutshell so there's a lot of action this time around uh you really feel the stakes with the brainiac queen and how ruthless and how powerful she is and you know brainiac was creating it for reasons but i still don't 100 fully know and i also don't really know what's going on with lena luther but maybe lena luther will be the key to uh, defeating them in the ultimate like absolute power event but in terms of a pure superman event like I, what they're crafting with this has been really exciting in each and every issue now i haven't really checked out the tie-ins but like in terms of like legit the main events this is the best thing i think williamson has done in the last couple of years you know between dark crisis and night tears and all that this has been really really good because it's been superman focused and bringing Brainiac in here, you feel the threats, you got Lobo team-ups, you got betrayals and all that stuff you kind of expect there, but there is some interesting, like, mystery stuff going on at play here, and you really feel the threat with Brainiac in this, and I'm really loving that, because Brainiac should be arguably, like, Superman's toughest opponent, given his wide knowledge and all of the, like, you know, his intellect and everything he's kind of controlled and what he's trying to do this time around, so I'm really loving House of Brainiac. I think it's been a terrific event so far, and... It's weird for me to say that, like, wow, what a great DC Comics event that we have going on here. I really hope they, like, secure the landing because the first four issues, well, 4.5 at least with the stuff that Williamson's been doing, I've really, like, thoroughly enjoyed uh, for the most part. So, uh, like I said, I haven't checked out the tie-ins, but maybe I might have to if the main stuff's this good. But no, 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 I have to save your money like focus on the main stuff like parts one two three and four and you know maybe a little bit of like 2.5 which kind of gave a little bit of like insight with what's going on with amanda waller and brainiac and that sort of connection but this has been really good you created an ultimate like foe of sorts and i'm excited to see where it goes from here but uh yeah i can't wait for the next issue House of Brainiac's legit been really great. So, uh, yeah, what did you think of this issue? Post your comments down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content, hit bell for notifications. Still got some more DC comic reviews coming up as well. There's Titans, there's uh, World's Finest, and then I think I got, like, one other comic book, but I might savor some stuff off for tomorrow, but we shall see. All right, well, that's all I have to say. As always, take care now. Bye-bye then, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.